a battle built here with another video getting some more season 12 go battle league battles these taking place in the open great league meta in today's video we have a bit of a theme team going on called the triple bunny strat and the best part of it is we get to feature amon that received a new move in the form of low punny getting the fast move of double kick if you need a comparison for double kick it's essentially a hex clone energy wise but deals more damage there's no other move like it in the game and potentially gives low punny some actual play in open great league as a spice option we decided if we want to see how legit that play is we're going to put this low punny on a triple bunny team to cover its weakness of fighting abb weak to fighting with a charmer in the front to cover that fighting weakness and then the meta model diggers be as essentially the save swap it actually depends on the circumstances in this scenario but i have a collection of battles let's see how well this team performed and let's see how well low punny performs now in some open great league battles with the addition of double kick to its fast move pool because before this it had pound and low kick two terrible moves that will probably never see the light of day in a pvp format so without further ado don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's jump right into this video you'll also notice in this first battle i had focus blast on my low bunny but my twitch chat convinced me afterwards that i should change focus blast to hyper beam because who doesn't want to beam some mons on top of the fact that it's stab whereas focus blast is not but because we don't have hyper beam in this scenario we have to go straight fire punch against the arachnid because of arachnid's water bug typing taking neutral damage and because of its bug typing resisting any potential fighting damage that we'd throw because again double kick is a fighting fast move so we're going to spam as many fire punches as we possibly can we're going to see if we're able to flip switch after losing the lead and we are unable to so we're going to let our low punny go down we're going to come in with the diggers b to essentially mud shot even though that's also resisted because of araquinids uh bug typing but we want to get a bunch of energy because i'm pretty sure if i didn't sidetrack myself too much the lead was galarian sunfisk we'll find out hopefully soon enough but we commit to a complete mud shot down and we're waiting to see what they decide to do yes it comes back in with the galarian sunfisk they throw a charge move we shield it because we want to preserve our diggers beat in this matchup even though our attack is double debuffed we still prefer this matchup versus the wiggly tough on the galarian sunfisk matchup so we end up preserving diggers beat landing an earthquake going for a fire punch here that still does not take out because of the debuffs we don't oh no we do want to give up bolt shields because because here's why we gave up bolt shields based on the fact that they were committing to their stun fisk it essentially told us that they were double weak to diggersby and trevin it's kind of weak to diggersby kind of could answer it depending on the scenario but because of that ghost typing wigglytuff actually answers trevenant and as much as they're going to get off some seed bombs here we're going to be able to charm down they save their shields for essentially no reason and we overcome a bad lead and win the first match of this set getting into the next matchup we have wigglytuff on another trevenant lead again another positive lead because of the fact that wigglytuff has that normal typing versus trev's ghost typing and they're going to spam as many seed bombs as they possibly can and we're going to let these come through because the shadow claws are doing no damage they then save swap into lickitung and now you'll notice we have hyper beam on our low punny of course this was literally the match after i tm'd focus blast off and i'm like damn i would have preferred focus blast for some nice super effective damage on the lickitung but we're going for the beam hoping that with the fighting damage and the potential beam landing unfortunately it does not but with the combination of both we're hoping that we can essentially keep alignment because we want to keep that trevenant lined up with our wigglytuff we're going for another hyper beam the lick damage is not doing much to our low punny because we are a normal type double resisting plus the lick lick a tongue is not a ghost mon and lick is a ghost move so it's uh non-stab but before we can get off another beam on their lick a tongue we go for it on the meta jam and it gets shielded but you know what here's the positive situation we still have a shield on our wigglytuff a bunch of energy charm is super effective because metacham is a fighter we let this move come through knowing it's not going to be a big move to take out wigglytuff's remaining health go for the play rough should one shot or take out a majority of the metacham self and like i mentioned earlier diggersby's matchup against trevenant is not that terrible it's not that terrible because diggersby has access to the uh fire charge move of fire punch not a great move but it is super effective against trevenant and it's grass typing and also diggersby being a normal type like wigglytuff and like this entire team this is actually a triple normal team which is probably the the other best part of it being the triple bunny theme team and the triple bunny um i mean the triple normal team is uh essentially we resist any potential ghost damage on literally all of our mods so triple bunny team reign supreme 
first two battles. Let's get into the next one here. We have Wigglytuff on a Whimsicott lead, Charmer on Charmer. Now, the big thing is with ABB teams is that essentially you don't want to stay in most leads because you need to lure out what your backline is weak to. And because our backline is so weak to fighting, we need to safe swap whether it be low pony or diggers be depending on the lead so that we can lure out a potential fighter and then have Wigglytuff line up with that, take care of it, and let the other mom pop off, essentially. But because of the leads that we've been getting, um, either we were forced to swap in the first match or our opponents have swapped in the next two matches, and we're able to beam the wall rain. We give up a shield, but we keep switch, and that's gonna be huge for us because we really don't want our diggers to be lined up, lined up with that Whimsmacot. And we go for another Fire Punch, which does like half a Whimsmacot's, Whimsmacot's, say that, Mon's name 10 times fast. Remaining health. We are going to commit a shield here on the off chance there is a fighter there and it ends up not being a fighter. And committing that shield wasn't the best play because now they have a two shield to no shield advantage and we're going to need to land an earthquake. Our goal is essentially to play the bait game or land the earthquake and go big move right away. We decide not to. We go for the bait game. We're going for a fire punch here. We get their first shield. Okay. Half the job is done. We decide to go for another bait, expecting them to think another, the earthquake is coming through this time. Boom, back to back baits, lands. We can eat this earthquake. Now we just need to outpace before they get to another charge move. Switch timer is not even close to being up. We get to the earthquake. This will one shot the Galarian Sunfisk's remaining health. Boom, the Whimsicott's still alive, so we swap. Oh, wait, the Whimsicott was not alive. The visual is so weird. It confused me in the match, which is why I swapped in Whims uh, Wigglytuff, and it confused me as I ended up recapping over the battles. But Stunfist survived 1 HP. We charmed it down. Getting into the next matchup, we have Wigglytuff on a Metacham lead, a positive lead here, and this is the fighter that our backline is so afraid of. So we need to stay in this matchup, and we are going to commit to Wigglytuff. That could have been the big move of Psychic. We did not want that to land. Unfortunately, it ends up being a bait. Based on the amount of counters they've done, it has to be another Ice Punch. Can't be the big move. We win the one shield there. And we're able to uh, essentially not win the one shield. We win the lead there by giving up a shield. And because our backline does pretty well against the uh, Ferrothorn, we swap into Low Pony to lure out potentially another fighter. We know they have to be double weak to Wigglytuff because they stayed in that Metacham league. So we want to see if we can lure it out. Ends up being a Sableye, not a fighter, but also weak to Wigglytuff because of the ghost damage it would do and its dark typing. We end up eating a return there, but low pony, you know, got a little bit of thickness there. Able to tank one of those, which is pretty cool. And we don't mind essentially not having, you know, the super effective damage of low pony's double kicks landing on the Ferrothorn because we still have Diggersby, who's a tank, even though it's going to take super effective damage from the potential grass moves, can eat some of it and also has access again to Fire Punch. Ferrothorn being the grass steel type that it is, is not going to take kindly to these fire punches. We essentially built the two. We should have thrown one mud shot beforehand because essentially when you throw, when you're at two moves, you give the opponent an extra fast move to come through when that ends up happening and you want to time it a little bit better than that. So we get all both. You'll see the bullet seed go through because we built the two. We go for both fire punches though. We know that essentially we're going to, we were going to win that match because even though we allowed the free move, we had, they, we have eat we had eaten a power whip and we had used our shield and they were not at another power whip yet so we end up winning that match ggs to that opponent getting into the next match of another positive lead they safe swap into drapion we have to go into diggersby because ground super effective against poison we're hoping that they don't have aqua tail because that'd be super effective against us they do not ends up being a crunch diggersby eats it well no debuff from the opponent so we go straight for the big move knowing that we can outpace and win this matchup they recognize that too decide not to shield and we end up keeping switch and alignment the metacham comes back in this is great we know we can keep it away from our low punny plus we land an earthquake for good measure to get some additional damage off on the metacham to help out our wigglytuff because they are going for the counter farm down and they're going to build up quite a bit of energy they should be all the way at a psychic they don't throw a move they swap in the bass on and even though we don't have focus blast they don't know that and they top left and it's ggs for that match right there I think even without Focus Blast, because double kicks are super, double super effective, we could throw a bunch of neutral fire punches and we would have won that matchup. Probably could have hyper beamed it and still won that matchup. Regardless, GG's. And they made our lives easier by top left. You love to see it. Getting into this next matchup, I forgot what the lead scenario was, but we right now have Diggers be on a Galarian Weezer, which is not a terrible matchup for us. We go for the Earthquakes, going for the big moves, hoping to land them because they'd be super effective against Galarian Weezing's poison typings poison typing but we know galarian wheezing because we tried it out ourselves has big moves in the form of play rough and overheat both would be neutral against diggersby so we have to be careful thankfully neither of those lands oh we had a positive lead they swapped and we matched there as well they come back in with the scrafty 
to throw a super effective pup here. We're trying to get all the way to an earthquake. We do. This will do about 45 to 50% of the Scrafty's health. Actually, more than that, 55 to 60%. They counter us all the way down, come back in with the Wigglytuff, but their last Mon in the back, because we had our Diggersby take care of their first poison, we don't have a great answer for their second poison. And Low Punny needs to land this beam. We're in the one shield, one shield scenario, so this could be a bait, could be big move. We go big move, and it fails. Essentially, we needed to bait properly there and land the big move in order to win that match. Also, I got stuck in the middle of my fast move there. The fire punch did not go off, but that wasn't going to make that big of a difference. And this opponent's running Sludge Wave on uh, instead of Acid Spray, which does major damage and one-shots our Wiggly. So, unfortunate match there, but essentially comes down to the bait game, so there's only so much you can do about it. We want to lure out the fighter with the neutral lead of Wigglytuff on Lantern, so we save swap into Low Punny. They match us with a Metachamp, so Low Punny's not going to be able to do too much for us here, other than go for the Hyper Beam. Can we land a beam, he beam here? I was going to say finally, but I'm pretty sure we did. And boom, we do land the beam, but unfortunately, it's not enough damage, even with the normal type stab, because it's only neutral damage on the Medi. So we're not able to get alignment, which is going to kind of be important for us, since... We don't know what their third Mon is, and that Lantern now has access to Surf, which could be super effective against our Diggersby. Hopefully they don't have another great answer for our Wigglytuff, and they come back in with the Lantern, and essentially that is that is what ends up happening. We swap, though, into uh, Diggersby, and they match it with Sableye, and essentially we need to land these Earthquakes. We're playing the two shield versus two shield matchup, and we need to try and beta shield works on the first move going for the earthquake here we need to essentially keep our shields that's our goal here but also take out the sableye and so far so good the problem is we need to try and call a return here and we get baited ourselves so this scenario is a little too close for comfort i was worried about their counts they were super close to another move i wanted to throw the fire punch that would have taken out the remaining health but i continue over farming to avoid trying to play on the cmp i almost end up playing the cmp on the next charge move get the fire punch off take off take out the sableye we're in the one shield scenario the problem is even though we left that matchup with sableye with a bunch of energy we are still going to get outpaced by the lantern and we have no shields so we swap catch a surf which is great and all problem is they're going to be able to spark us all the way down and then surf our diggers b which is going to take us out and we're going to lose they actually built the two surfs here and i'm pretty sure the next surf is what beats us actually no it might not it was an awkward scenario i wasn't sure how much surf did it does not take us out but we know how fast they are and they literally outpace us to cmp so i think if we would have stayed in the same scenario would have played out where we would have gotten outpaced and CMP'd on the Earthquake, and we would have lost that match no matter what. But I tried to uh, play that to the safest of my abilities, and unfortunately, it did not work out, and we end up losing the final two matches. But we had a solid collection of battles there. That is the Triple Bunny theme team, trying to land Low Punny, Hyper Beam, Bars. Subscribe, like, comment for all the Battle Bill Rat Bars incoming confirmed. No, I only do that occasionally by mistake, and it usually doesn't always turn out so great. That kind of sounded pretty good if I say so myself. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts on the battles. I hope you enjoyed this theme team that happened over here. Triple normal, triple bunny, low punny, popped off. I think, honestly, it's not going to be no, it's not going to be a main metamon. It's not going to be a mainstay in open Great League battles, but you could definitely have a lot of fun now that it has a fast move double kick, whereas before it was completely useless. So on that note, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Preach!